as we all know, the coldest, dangerous, very cold, dangerous, freezing temperature of all. And you want to know what that name is called, right? The Great Polar Vortex. Now, what is the Great Polar Vortex? That's a good question. Well, the Great Polar Vortex was named in some kind of different name besides the Polar Vortex since 1995. That was the name before it was meant. So it, the name was created in 1995. What's the difference between the Great Blizzard and the Great Polar Vortex? Good question. Well, what it is, what, uh, what is the Great Polar Vortex? It's a very dangerous freezing temperature that could bring temperatures reaching to 9 degrees to 50 below 0 degrees. That's the Great Polar Vortex. Now, what's, what's, the polar, what's a polar vortex? Ah, it's the same thing, but at a different signal, digit. Alright, let's start with the same temperature, 9 degrees, that's the polar vortex. And remember, long in these days, the, uh, uh, a year, uh, a day after Happy New Year, 2014, Blizzard Hercules destructed New York City, which caused Staten Island to lose lots of power, including Long Island, which was hit more worse, bringing winds that felt like 80 degrees, which is a, a, a hurricane force wind gust. In our area, Van Cortland Park, when Blizzard Hercules hit in our area, and you should check out the video, which is called uh, the, the Crazy Blizzard that hit <coughs> New York City. But scientists are right now saying that from the summer, from the summer, it wasn't, it didn't felt really hot, like all that hot and a heat wave. It didn't felt like that at all. So scientists are saying that the great polar vortex is going to happen to New York City, which is going to cause temperatures to reach 9 degrees to below zero. For 40 or 40 or 15. <coughs> so the Great Polar Vortex starts in Greenland. And right now Greenland is having a polar vortex. With now five inches of five five to fifteen inches of ice and snow in Greenland. Miliodrist P uh, meteorologist John Subert checked out um, Greenland and what they found out wasn't really good. They said that this polar vortex was so bad that it brought winds 60 to 80 miles per hour. Now you see that flag right? You know what that means? This is the flag. This means that there's mud warning. And these are mud stuff. See, those are mud. Mud warning. But I'm allowed. I'm, I'm allowed to go here. See that red flag? That is mud warning and, and death warning. You see this, right? This is dangerous. Never ever step on this. I'm a meliodrist and checking this. Look, see, this is mud. And you know that snow could cause mud. So this flag is gonna be is gonna be on our guard just in case of a tropical storm, mud warning, which is mud, and other kinds of things. But we're talking about the great polar vortex. Now, if a great polar vortex ever happens, my job is to make a project, put a big piece of paper, 
and place it on the baseball team. Warning, freezing temperatures. Stay safe and that red flag will be staying here for that moment. My job is to put, I have a job and it gives me four dollars for that job. Not playing. So. But why is the Great Polar Vortex really deadly? But we could survive in this impact. Well, it's easy. You just stay indoors and watch out. It's just stay indoors and watch out. The Great Polar Vortex is a really dangerous and outrageous, dangerous, dangerous freezing temperature that it could give you a fever and it could bring death. And it could mess up your phone. What am I on my phone? You know, if a great polar vortex is hit, it, MSP is going to close every single public school. So this month of December, January, and February, we're going to have the great polar vortex, which will hit New York City. And NASA said it's a it's a threat. And it could be true. So, the Great Polar Vortex is a, it's a, it's stronger. And, and, and more ice brings up to, let's say, you're in this area, right? This area? You're in an area. Right? This is your area. Now this ice, the ice could bring over down here all the way down to the bottom to here up down to 20 inches of ice or more or 30 that is what the great polar vortex does plus it'll make me slip slippery and slippery conditions now also they're saying that a mini ice age some Meliodorus said that a mini ice age could hit New York City because of that great polar vortex. Well, guess what? That's all bullshit. It's bullshit. And here's the reason why. We'll never know what will happen to our Earth and planet seen by. But don't worry about it. Just enjoy life. Enjoy the moments what you see in this world. That's all. Just when, if, uh, if the great polar vortex is overdue to, to your area, stay home. If you're going to go outside, you need to wear about four, four shirts and a jacket. Because that brings really freezing temperatures. Now, what's the great blizzard? Well, guess what? Do, guess something interesting. Besides a hurricane season, they're going to make a blizzard season. Scientists, right now, in this present day... They're going to make a, a, a each category blizzard. Now, remember Blizzard Hercules, right? When it hit after Happy New Year, a few days after Happy New Year, 2014? That one was a category 2 blizzard to hit in New York City, which brought really, really strong gusty winds up to 70 miles per hour. And winds feeling like, like 80. So... Could a, they saying right now that the Great Blizzard could have hit New York City. Well, that's going to be true. It's going to be only a Category 4, 3, 2, or 1. But what's a Category 1 Blizzard? Well, guess what? They're going to make this for the category. 1. A Winter Storm. 2. A windy winter storm. Now, what's a winter storm? That makes blizzard conditions feel. And it, it, it could happen. When, like winter storm packs. But it was winter windy storm packs. And what is winter windy storm? Win, winter windy storm? That means a, a feel of a blizzard condition up to 60 to 70 miles per hour feel. That's what a winter windy s storm is. Now, what about Blizzard Category 1? 
Now, a blizzard category 1 means winds bringing 60 to 70 miles per hour for exactly. Category 2, same thing, but 70 to 80 miles per hour. Category 3, really strong, it could bring a feet of snow, a really 15 feet of snow. Winds over 80 to 90 miles per hour. Now that's a hurricane force wind. Category 4, causing damage to trees and stuff like this. All living things and planets. Trees will be dead, immediately dead in a category 4. Category 5, worst devastation. It will cause 90 to 100 miles per hour or 150 miles per hour blizzard. Now that's what you call a hurricane for, force wind. That's all. Cat category 5 blizzard, and that's it. So, that's what you call it. But what is the most weakest snowstorm? FS, which stands for flurry snowstorm. Now what it means, snow, and that's it. That's all it just means to Now, you know blizzards cause mud problems to areas like this. See this? That's why there's a red flag because all this mud stuff. Same thing that can happen to winter in the winter season. Snow could bring mud over a deep inch. That's why it's dangerous. In 1996, some kid was playing around in this area and tripped over the mud and suffocate. Like right in the face of the mud. Couldn't come out. They had to call the the, the service intercom help ambulance look see this is why red flags that's what you call mud and same thing that can happen to snow the great blizzard is a category 5 blizzard and in 1998 the great blizzard hit Chicago bringing damaging worse damage traffic and including 1898 New York City had a hurricane force wind blizzard, category 5. And it brought devastating damage and exclusive downpour of power lines. So people, when this stuff like this happens, stay indoors and don't go out. If you have to go out, be very safe as you can. This is your boy. Neil Gonzalez Gonzalez Weather X45 Science. That's what it is. And keep on, I'm going to keep on more on this videos. Hope you guys like this video. And bye.